Hello everyone! Those of you who follow my work and who are my subscribers know by now that recently I posted a number of videos related to Raspberry Pi 4 and how Raspberry Pi 4 can be used for robotics and machine learning applications. The goal is to build a really low-cost computing platform that can be used for simultaneous localization and navigation, large language models, and computer vision. So far I was playing with Raspberry Pi 4 and I was tweaking Raspberry Pi 4 performance, I was overclocking, I was increasing swap memory size in order to boost the Raspberry Pi 4 performance. However, I realized that Raspberry Pi 4 is simply not powerful enough to run recent large language models or to run more advanced computer vision and machine learning algorithms. And, and consequently, I decided to investigate the performance of Raspberry Pi 5 and to investigate can Raspberry Pi 5 used for modern machine learning, computer vision and robotics applications. And here are the components I purchased. First of all, I purchased Raspberry Pi 5 with 8GB RAM. Then I purchased the cooler and the fan for the Raspberry Pi 5. This cooler should sit like this. And I have to mention that I realized the cooler is must for Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 5. The processor and GPU will quickly heat up and you will need a cooler or a fan because otherwise the processor or a CPU might burn. Okay, then I purchased this SSD, NVMe SSD. And to mount this NVMe SSD, I purchased this base. This base should sit below and my SSD should be attached to this base. And then on top of that, I will have my Raspberry Pi 5. In addition to this, I purchased this adapter that enables me to use SSD with my computer. That is, I can use USB-C adapter and I can simply plug in inside my SSD and then later on plug in the whole thing into my computer so I can boot Linux or I can install Linux or I can create a bootable disk out of this SSD. In the future, I will make a number of tutorials explaining how to use Raspberry Pi 5 for machine learning, large language model and robotics applications. So stay tuned.